Hello folks and welcome to this week's Music Alerts in which I tell you what physical music media I have received through the post this week. Now, I've got some vinyl for you in a momento, 12 inch and 7 inch would you believe, but to begin, CD. And from Ace Records comes a group called Rodian GA. You might not be too familiar with this particular band and they come from Romania, which may not help at all on that score. This band produced music from 1975 all the way through to 2017. This collection of 21 tracks comes from the band's archive. Now, this music was suppressed. Not many people even heard it in Romania. It was suppressed by the Nicolae Ceausescu administration. They were not particularly nice people and they did not like this band. However, the band itself was discovered in 2012 by a Danish blogger. Some of that work was broadcast at the time. Comeback concerts were arranged and they did some of that. Unfortunately, soon after, I think it was a couple of years after, leader Ridion Roska succumbed to cancer soon after, which was a tragedy, but at least he had some recognition before the poor guy left us. And the music itself, well, experimental rock, avant rock, rock that takes chances and explores a host of directions, definitely worth a look. On the Kent label now, also look out for A Different World, the Holland Dozier Holland Songbook. This is a collection of 24 songs from the trio, sung by all kinds of different artists, and those artists included Diana Ross and the Supremes, Brenda Lee, The Band, Laura Nairo, The Vanilla Fudge, and all kinds of other interesting people. Again, check it out. Also on Ace, Jackie DeShannon and a compilation spanning 1960 to 1962 called Nothing Can Stop Me, Liberty Records Rarities. Now this one includes 13 tracks from the Ray Charles songbook, which could and maybe should have been the lady's debut, but it wasn't. And it's only now seen the light of day and here it is. And in addition, you get all of these rarities from the Liberty label. First up for vinyl, seven inches and a selection of dinked, that is, they ain't got a center spindle holder, the kind of thing you might see in a jukebox. All of these seven inch singles come from the Ace label and they are under rather little known label names. For example, there's the Topper label. And from the Topper label, we have Toby Lark's Challenge My Love and Sweep It Out in the Shed. This is a Motown influenced Northern Soul outing from 1966. On the TCB label is a funky soul outing from Little Anne called The Smile on Your Face from 1999, but here with a different B side from the Kent original, which is called Who Are You Trying to Fool? On the Romark label is a split Northern Soul single. Well, it is and it isn't. I'll explain in a moment. We have Tawana and the Total Destruction from 1967, plus Ty Karams, If I Can't Stop You, I Can Slow You Down from 1977. As I say, this looks like a split. It kind of is. But it kind of isn't, because both artists were the same person. Ty Karam was also Tawana, singing under her daughter's name. On the, what is this, Kiki, KK, Kiki label, I'm going to say that, is a couple of soul tracks from Melvin Davis from 1964. The first, You've Got Wedding Bells, and on the flip, It's No News. Finally, check out this rather attractive sleeve on the Bob Stanley label, measured mile. First up we have Night of the Wolf. It's a Northern Soul song from 1975 that was originally an Italian prog rock ditty of all things. On the flip, It's the Same Old Story was originally an album track only and this is the first time it's appeared as a 7 inch single. 12 inches now and first up we have a couple on the Crass label, a couple of reissues 
from 1981. First is Annie Anxiety, Barbed Wire Halo. There's two tracks here, Hello Horror and Cyanide Tears. Both are experimental, both are avant-garde, industrial-ish works. Terribly scary stuff indeed, but wonderfully creative. Next on the same label is Flux of Pink Indians and a three-tracker featuring new or noi smell. I suppose it's noi smell, isn't it? Sick butchers and background of malfunction. Think, think anarcho-punk. Energy upon energy. But there is some great basic rock here, folks, it has to be said. Next up, from the UK audiophile label, Demon and... Tying up some loose ends, I think. I've talked about the label's whopping great album box from the Jesus Jones fraternity, but I did not mention that Demon also has a range of individual albums that you can buy for money. We have Liquidizer from 1989, we have Doubt on the Orange Vinyl from 1991, London on White Vinyl from 2001, and Passages on Yellow Vinyl from 2018. Speaking of box sets, I also talked about a CD box set from Kirsty McCall from the same label. But what's more, Demon also has some vinyl releases from the lady herself. These are half-speed mastered pressings, and they include Kite, her second LP. This one from 1989, produced by her then-husband, Steve Lillywhite. Also, Electric Landlady from 1991, her third album, named after the Jimi Hendrix album Electric Ladyland. That particular album was misnamed on the original tape box as, you guessed it, Electric Landlady. And while we are still with Demon, let's also mention British Mod Sounds Volume 2, The Freak Beat and Psych Years, 31 tracks spanning two discs and curated by Eddie Pillar from Acid Jazz Records. Artists on this particular compilation include, there's a whole host of star names here folks, The Yardbirds, David Bowie, The Action, The Accent, Small Faces, The Kinks and a whole lot more. Moving away from Demon and towards Tapet, I think it's Tapet, and we have Scottish indie pop from the BMX Bandits and the album Dreamers on the Run, including an extra four-track bonus EP. This one is limited to 500 copies, and this is the band's 12th album, and the one that should have been released in 2014, where health issues got in the way, and here we are. Melodically sweet and heartfelt songs. This one has the sort of intimacy that forces you to listen to the lyrics, and not all songs do, I might add. Also on Tapet is the guy behind The Loft, The Weather Prophets, and The Wisdom of Harry, Pete Astor. His 40-year career continues with this particular solo album, and it's accompanied by a whole host of friends who've also been around a bit, you might say. The result is Tall Stories and New Religions, a reworking of older songs for today, adding a bit of life context, you might say. This is, this is the history of one man through a series of musings and memories and low-key recollections. And that's your lot, folks. Thanks for staying to the end of this particular video. Down below, if I could ask you to click on the like and subscribe buttons, it'll just help this particular channel enormously. And further down, there's other links to my social media platform contact thingies. And there is a link to my website. Lots of stuff over there you don't see here, folks. My Facebook group, which you're welcome to join. And also my Patreon page, which has the exclusive Hi-Fi News Etc. video every single week. There's one there this week. I'll be back next week with another one of these, same day, same place. And I hope to have your company, of course. Until then, folks, bye-bye for now.